Hi, I'm Ethan Bollert, and these are the three things you need to know this week. Number one, furniture. Guess what? We have another furniture build coming up on Saturday, October 16th, and it's a big one. Throughout the year, we help the Northwest Furniture Bank get people off the ground, literally, by assembling different items of furniture for them to give to families in Pierce, South King, and Clark counties. The Northwest Furniture Bank serves victims of domestic violence, people suffering loss from fire and natural disasters, foster children, and especially families coming from transitional housing who are trying to rebuild their lives. It isn't often that something so simple can bring hope in such a big way, but this furniture build is one, and it's one we can do with a wide range of generations. Signups for the build are live for adults and children eight and older with proper adult supervision. Number two, raincoats. Can't make the furniture build or just don't trust your IKEA assembling skills? You're in luck. We have another way for you to make a difference. Some of our local elementary schools serve kids who do not have the Pacific Northwest garment, a raincoat. There is also a need for hoodies, jeans, and sweatpants. These are simple things that we take for granted, but a lot of kids don't have them. That was weird. Anyway, we will be collecting raincoats, hoodies, jeans, and sweatpants for boys and girls in kindergarten through fifth grade. You can pick up items for any age, group, or gender that you would like and bring them into the church no later than Sunday, October 17th. Thanks for continuing to help people here in our community. Number three, fun fact. Fun fact is, there is no fun fact this week. Instead, here's our Rooted recap for week two. Take it away, Jeremy. This week in Rooted, we journeyed into the unknown. Now, God would be totally unknown to us, at least potentially, but thankfully, he's revealed himself to us. But how did he do that? Well, he uses three primary ways. He reveals himself through creation, second, through scripture, and lastly, and most importantly, through the person of Jesus Christ. Well, wait a minute, God is mysterious though. So there's a lot we don't know about him. What do we know about him exactly? What is clear? Well, this much is clear. God is the creator. He made the world good because he is good. We rebelled and broke God's good creation, but God had a rescue plan and he put it into effect in Jesus. If we admit our sin, believe in the good news, and commit to following Jesus, then we can have new life in him. But how do we live this new life? We need to hear from God, so how do we do that? Well, that is our topic this week. And those are the three things you need to know this week. If you have any questions, contact the church office.